There you go, boys. That's why you need to wear your uh, gloves. Not that that probably would have helped me. Morning, guys. Right, we're back on another one. I've got man flu at the minute, so bear with me. But I'm soldiering on, as you do. I'm back at the big house today. Uh, the job and is sort of running. Um, we're doing a little bit in the plant room today, so I thought I'd film that. A few people want to see the install on that. So um, I'll just uh, flip the camera and show you what's going on. Right, at the minute, we've got a six inch trunk in here, which um, this height was denoted by what size these actual panels were going to be. This is the Lutron lighting panels, two of these. They were coming only, I think we're going to be 800. They've now come at 1.2 meters, as you can see. So now, they do not fit in that gap that we've got. So we've now got some strut. We've cut some strut. We're going to make a nice frame, bring those off the wall and uh, mount those in front and then we can bring the cables up, dress them in and into the back of the panels. This trunk carries on around here, our new fuse board's here, there, it's a double uh, fuse board there. We're going to bring some 4 inch trunking up the wall, the top and the bottom of the fuse board and then there's uh, the stack to go there which is currently stood in the gym area there and then all the other gears go on the wall there. Right. You can see there we've got a temporary fuse board. This is a little socket for us. This is our armor 25mm free core. As you can see, it's cut there at the minute. Um, we've actually got an earth. This is banjoed at the board end. I'll do a little picture of that now. So that's banjoed at the board. Um, we've actually got an earth in here, so we've, we have got an earth on the circuit. We've tested these two ring mains for the house. We've got those circuits on now so they can have some temporary heaters plugged in because we're, we're no way getting the heating on yet because the plumber's not finished, obviously. Um, so we've got those ring mains on. These cables are long, you might say that's a waste, but um, we didn't know where these panels would go in. What, this room wasn't even built when we started, so we actually left these all coiled out downstairs in the room downstairs, which I'll show you now. Today, what we're gonna try and do is get these panels mounted, get all these cables cut and labeled, probably back to here, and then we can start bringing these cables up into the panels and um, start getting some lighting on, potentially. If you guys have never seen this stuff, this is called Unistrut. This is what we use on commercial builds, but obviously I'm just a house basher, so I've never, um, I've never installed this stuff before. <laughs> Cheeky little comments in the YouTube section. All right, let's crack on with this. This is what you call bending your own brackets, making some, these are 90 degree. Uh, we're now making 45 degrees just by bending that strut over there like that. So these are the 45 degree brackets we've just bent. They're just going to sit on the ceiling. We now know we've got timber here, 600, 600, our frame's 1200 block. So now I'm going to just screw this through the ceiling, get this all bolted together, and then get the panel bolted on. So this has actually got a 4 inch screw in it because you've got 2 inch, it's battened down, you've got two inch Celotex and then you've got plasterboard so that just bites on the timber nicely by about about half inch or whatever so it's nice and sturdy. We're going to put another one in there and then we can get all this frame squared up and then we actually get the Lutron panels bolted on here. Right when I get focus, there we go, right the frame's now in, screw to the floor, two inch tens into the thing, nice and level, squared up, bolted through, bolted through, little plug for Lidl, two pounds, little nylocks, and normals, two quid, yeah, bargain. So next we're gonna get the panel bolted up. We've measured the space between on the back of the panels here. We've got the bolt holes, we're just gonna use the top and the bottom ones. And then Z and bolt them with M10s through the channels here. Right, we've had to go with the eight mil in the end because they've not pre-drilled them for 10 mil. I'll just show you how this system works. So that is that is a that is a, a bolt and a washer, and then you get this channel, and then you get a um, 
if I can get it. Yeah. I'll show you anyway. Basically, these just sit in the channel like this, and then they slide along and they clamp down on the back here. That's, that's called Zebedee, if you like. Some people call it different. Um, Buddy bird in here, get out! Right, so whoever supplied these panels have kindly sent us two different size panels. So obviously we've made our frame to suit this one and unbox this one, it's a different size. So the fixings are different now. So we're just gonna re-drill. I'm just doing it now. Just gonna re-drill and bolt in. Put a square plate washer behind to give it a space in. We've left a four inch gap, enough for two lock rings. I'm gonna push a lock with in, I put a four inch trunk in that's centre here. And that is the Lutron panels, Lutron lighting panels coming up there. Bolt in place. We can't actually do that much more than today because we're waiting for trunking beds and stuff. So what we're gonna probably do now is get the trunk in here for the fuse board. And do some tray along the floor for the, uh, the data and stuff that's gonna be here. So we're just measuring up for the trunk and fuse board. This is the board we're gonna use. Uh, metal enclosed. And it's just having a little sleep by the sounds of it. Metal enclosed. I think that's getting changed for a mains RCD. And then you've got one, two, three, two, that's four RCDs split. Two in there, two in there. Well, yeah, right, Andy is messing about next door. I'll just show you this area. This is gonna be their gym. We've gone with the same down lights in here. And then you've got two low level sockets that are stainless, screwless. I think the running machine, bike, um, Another two there, then you've got a TV. That's going to be plastic because that is behind the TV, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. And then you've got the two lovely windows with you know, lighters in there. And then I've got two key like charcoal grey radiators. But, uh, yeah, this is the data cabinet, two, two metres high, probably 600 square. So we can try and get that in there today as well. Well, I'll just show you what we've been doing. We've flanged four inch flange into there, up here for the trunk and this fuse board, that'll all come out the side there. I've now also flanged a four inch out the cap there, four inch trunk in along there to pick up some circuits that come in this way. And some spurs and stuff, and we come out with power to the hub on here as well. I just realised just realize we've got uh, that over range, that flange, that we've got to rub one of those on. Move that. It's too tight there, isn't it? <laughs> there you go, boys. That's why you need to wear your uh, gloves. Not that that probably would have helped me. So what we've done, we got the trunking up. One one of those is bushed in. We're going to wait and drill the other one tomorrow. And Andy's got his sharper drill bit because the one we use is a bit blunt. We're just running the cables through here now, up and up, and leaving the cables actually go to this fuse board called up here now. So we've given the plant room, this is the plant room now, a good clean. These cables have all got to come into the hub that's going to be stood here. It's going to get a, what size tray are you putting on, uh, the, on the basket on the floor? It's a tray. A tray, what size, 12? It's next 10 or 12 inch tray is going on the floor. And then Andy's going to do that on his own because that's a sort of a one man job to get those into the club. It's easy done with a two man. Yeah, two man. Hey ho. That's what happens when you've got too many jobs on. Um, oh. So, yeah, not too bad for just house bashers. We've got all this in. Um, all this is in now. So, yeah, it's going okay actually. Right, I'm going to end the video there. It's the end of the day anyway. We're going to put the tools in the van in a minute. Um, I think this is the hottest day we've had this year, 24. So. It's quite nice to get home, sit in the garden, hopefully. So um, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.